So I'm Patrice Lipovsky and I'm VP Digital Innovation at Orange. Well, for, for us, it means uh, a lot of new opportunities, uh, which, has, uh, which are probably as numerous as the, 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 the different verticals are in the IoT world, uh, because we, we, we see that uh, there is a lot of different businesses that are going to be disrupted and moved uh, with the emergence of the IoT. Well, we're doing basically four things. We're distributing devices, we're bringing connectivity to device manufacturers and to businesses, and not only SIM cards in the, on the M2M markets, but we're also bringing some solutions uh, for object makers, for instance. Uh, we're starting to distribute some services. For instance, in the uh, smart home, we've started to deliver the home live offer. And last but not least, we have a, uh, a new platform which is called Data Venue and which is basically here to uh, collect, store, uh, secure, aggregate and give access to data. Well, I think that uh, everybody uh, in the IoT, everybody see, see the things, the objects, uh, and in fact, the value is probably in the data itself and in the services, uh, because uh, probably the, 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 the objects are going to become gadgets if you're not finding the relevant service that will speak to the customer uh, and, and have uh, uh, transformed that into a, a daily relation to the service. So this is why we care so much about data and uh, we are trying to bring to that ecosystem, to this na nascent ecosystem and to the different vertical, we're trying to bring a, a horizontal platform on which every single uh, business can be, uh, can be uh, uh, working. Yeah, in, in the platform itself, well, the, the, the platform is mainly a data layer on which all the different verticals are going to, uh, to be uh, articulated, uh, not only on the smart home, but the smart car. Any single industry will, will be able to have a dedicated smart something uh, vertical. And uh, we're seeing in the ecosystem that Orange is here to bring all the services on the data port. In some cases, we'll have vertical partnerships uh, with some, some players and in some cases we'll be simply here to bring the data layer and to distribute the services that are going to be done by the ecosystem. So we're, we're having this kind of ecosystem where we know what we can bring because the uh, things around storing data etc are things we know pretty well and things that the other will bring, all the third parties will bring um, uh, because uh, in an ecosystem uh, the, the, the principle is that everybody has something to do uh, if we all want to, to get some revenues from that. Uh, well, I have seen uh, some, uh, some moves uh, uh, among different carriers and we're having conversation with some of them uh, because we understand that it would be key. There, there won't be only one, per, one platform. Uh, there will be several, probably hundreds or thousands of platforms and it's key to drive the business to be able to have interoperability between the, the, the platforms. So I assume and expect that in some cases we'll make some compatible choices not only for the standards, but also because it's, a, uh, it's something that will accelerate the, the market and the businesses. Uh, and this is why we're having this, uh, this uh, conversation with different players. They can be uh, carriers or not, uh, but it's important to have a global uh, ecosystem. Okay. So uh, you spoke about some of the, well, there will be many different verticals uh, that are disrupted by IoT. But where do you think the biggest disruptions will come? Well, uh, when I'm thinking about insurance and discussing with insurance companies, uh, I'm seeing them uh, having uh, some potential very important uh, drastic changes in their, their business models and, and in the way they are creating value uh, because they could be uh, really, really uh, customizing the way the, the customers are paying fees. Uh, they, can be, uh, they can be doing some personalization in the, the price which is paid if you think of the car, if you think of the health because now it's possible to know exactly, the, to determine at any uh, moment the risk factor of each individual. So that business may change and uh, they, they can also probably change the ratio between uh, the money they give uh, for uh, any kind of, uh, of uh, 
illness or any kind of accident, etc., to something which is more on trying to forecast and, 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 and uh, avoid uh, problems, diseases, etc. Et so the, uh, we, we understand there may be a shift into that. As it's not the only industry that is going to change, and this one is uh, is present in the smart home, is present in the in the in the health and wellness, uh, is present in the in the smart car as well. So you have three different verticals touched by one single industry, um, and if you are we're just looking at. Uh, at some expectations and, and studies, we see that there will be a major thing in health and wellness, for sure, but it's taking more time. In fact, we're, uh, we, we have ideas, but we don't have uh, all, the, all the ideas about what's coming. So the, the, the best thing to do is that we invite them to uh, start doing some proof of concept on the platform, on the Data Avenue platform. And in the, those uh, proof of concepts, we're also looking at the business model side, where we're trying to identify what should be applicable to, the, to each case. Um, and it's a, it's a kind of uh, unconventional way of building the things because instead of building the platform for years and years and when it's ready coming to the market say hey guys that's ready just come on the platform we're just doing the MVP uh, which stands for here for the minimum viable platform and when it's ready which is the case now we're starting to uh, embed and to onboard partners that are starting the story with us and uh, case by case, we're just looking uh, together with their inputs and our inputs, how it's, it's a game changer to their industry. We have started with uh, French big names, uh, which are banks like Société Générale or SEB, which is a home appliance uh, giant, uh, probably a world leader. Uh, we're also working with Malakoff Mederic, which is a French insurance. Uh, we'll, we're also working with Schneider Electric, which is a very large uh, company as well. And uh, we are, we, after the first 10 players, including some startups like Netatmo, like Colibri, which is doing the connected toothbrush, uh, which is a French one, uh, once again, uh, we have a, a little French touch in the connected objects. Uh, we are, we're going to onboard more partners. In fact, beginning of next year, we're going to have a Data Avenue partner program, which is going to open the door to more partners coming from different countries. Well, I think that uh, Orange is present in, in 30 countries, uh, which are mainly uh, Europe and Africa. And um, it's always when you're starting a new business, and uh, of course this business around data and the, the IoT is an adjacent uh, new business for the telco industry, it's good to start where you're already strong as a brand. So this means that we're prioritizing the start uh, of those, uh, those, uh, those initiatives in France and Poland, where we have this, uh, uh, this presence, and we're going to roll this out in the other countries. So this is why we're, before running, we're starting to, to walk and we're starting to, uh, uh, to, to uh, build things, uh, validate models, before we're rolling this out to, uh, to a global perspective. I think now, now we've, been, uh, we've been, for the last eight, year, eight years, playing with a lot of uh, OTT scenarios. Uh, which are in fact uh, have transformed a bit the way Orange is looking at the markets and which is much more open than probably other telcos or uh, of uh, um, what I'm seeing and also uh, more open than we used to be because the telco world were, was not that open if you compare. Uh, plus I think that with, uh, with the cloud experience we had, I think we've learned uh, a lot of things about uh, this storage uh, job uh, and all the things which are important with a key element in that that we haven't spoken so far, which is security. Everything you're touching uh, around the data topic, you, you see immediately the security topic emerging, you see immediately the privacy concern and privacy topic uh, emerging, and the situation and the way people are perceiving that not only in Europe, not only in old Europe, but everywhere on Earth, including what's happening here in the US, uh, has changed the perspective. And, uh, and obviously, I think that uh, uh, the carriers have proved that they, they can be trusted companies and trusted partners when it's about securing and being able to, uh, 
uh, deal with those kind of, uh, of uh, data uh, for third parties uh, and ensuring uh, uh, that uh, the data we, we, we store uh, will be our customer data and there is no doubt about that. I was happy to, to be here and speak with you direct from the airport and hope to catch up soon in Internet of Things in San Francisco in the next conference coming in uh, May 12 and 13, that's it. Yeah, Moscone. Great.